Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got two more Shades of Summer Master Icons that we're going to break down, as well as a full new release of multiple event cards to look up. And we've got new 99 overall icons, so we're going to break all those down as we always do. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and give this video a like if you did enjoy the content. Again, if you're looking for any of the news for NHL 22, this is the place to get it first. All right, guys, let's get into all of the new content. All right, we'll kick things off with the 96, Bowen Byram, another great young defenseman for the Colorado Avalanche. We've got Distributor, Workhorse, and Magician. This is a fine card at this stage of the game. He's 6'1". He's got good size. He's max defensive stats and hand stats as well. Speed's capped at 95. Acceleration get up to 96, but that's still usable, again, with his size. And with Synergies, he'll have basically a 99 overall shot as well. So a good left-handed defenseman if you're looking for a uh, young gun team or just if you're an Avalanche fan. Then we've got the 96, Patrick Hornquist. 5'11", 189 is, uh, you know, 95 speed and 95 acceleration on this guy when you get the synergies on. Everything else is close to being maxed out. Is 5'11", and a pure winger, uh, so they're far better options. But again, uh, at this stage of the game, guys, I've said it multiple times, you just go after your favorite cards. But this one could be a cheaper buy just because... You know, again, people are looking for 99 everything, and he's under six foot, and he's still going to be a very, very good card with synergies activated. Following him, we've got the 96. All of you, I'm gonna, I always say this wrong. Jewel Levy is six foot three, 182, with heart and soul, gladiator, and light the lamp. I do like that he comes with gladiator because, again, it, it brings up his body checking even higher. He's six three, 96 speed, 96 acceleration, and again, everything else 99. I'd much rather have him than Bone Byram just because of the size increase as well. Uh, and again, because he's only got heart and soul i know at this stage of the game everyone's got every single you know synergy activated but that could bring down his price just because he you know he's got heart and soul so a card to think about or try and check out if you are looking for one again this is a really good left-handed defenseman card one of the better ones to be honest Next up, the 96, Jamie Langenbrunner, 61205 with Speedster Workhorse. This is a really, really good card. Um, does boot with Workhorse, boosts his acceleration up enough to get it to 95. Speed goes up to 97. And then everything else is almost maxed out. Uh, six foot one right handed winger. So again, pure winger. I'd much rather have him than Hornquist, for example. Uh, again, a nice mix here. And again, if you were born in the early 90s, Langenbrunner was an awesome player. Um, one of my favorites uh, when I was younger. So, a uh, really cool card here in the 96, Jamie Langenbrunner. Then we've got a goalie in the 96, Carey Price. 71 aggression and then high 90s everything. Carey Price always plays really good, in my opinion. I think that he's got, a, you know, a... a I don't know what it is. He's only 6'3", so he's not like a monster in net. Uh, but with that low aggression, and again, a lot like there's forward players that play faster or have a better shot than what their stats indicate. I've always felt like Carey Price plays a little bit better uh, than what his attributes indicate. So let me know what you think, anyone that tries him out. But this could be a pretty nice end game uh, goaltender. And again, after the run he had, uh, a really popular one in my opinion. And then we've got probably my favorite from the release, the 96 Tim Stutzla. I will always be a Tim Stutzla fan because... Well, he should have been a shark. Anyways, speed's up at 96, acceleration is at 97, and then everything else is capped out at 6-1. And with Thief, you can make him a, or even without Thief activated, you, he is a center, so you can play him a lot of lineup flexibility. He's got good size and just a really fun player in the NHL, so this is going to be one that I would look out for as uh, just one of the more exciting cards. Again, at this stage, you should go after some of your favorite players, and Stutzel is one of mine, so um, just my two cents on him there. Then we've got the two new master set items, the 98 Bill. Bill Ranford, and while I think they've done a really good job in terms of smaller goaltenders this year, and by smaller I mean not like just the Ben Bishop six foot sevens and around that size, five eleven is just really unusable. Unless you're just playing offline, you're just gonna get torched no matter the rating, which is tough. And it's something that I brought up in the game chair and chat, and it's something that's always discussed in terms of how to fix that to make them usable. Um, there's been some ideas, something that I've kind of thought about is, you know, maybe just make their glove high and stick high exceptionally higher than some of the bigger goaltenders to try and make up for the fact they'll get burned upstairs. Uh, but I don't know until that's fixed. It's really tough to use a master set goaltender that is under like six, two, um, because all the other master set items, including this one, they don't get hit with the stat caps from goaltenders this year. Again, if you were a newer player, basically what happens throughout the year 
depending on their height, uh, if they're over six foot, there's five stats that will be capped at a certain attribute level, and they can't go any higher. But master set items, they don't follow those rules. So that's why you see like the mark, the master set Markstrom or Justice and Noonan because they're huge and they didn't have any of the caps. So um, while his synergies are incredible, just there's no no reason to go after this Bill Ranford. However, I will say this, my favorite Oilers jersey. And then we've got the 98 Timu Solani. Before we get into my least favorite and probably one of the worst ever jerseys from the Colorado Avalanche. Uh, but nonetheless, the 98 Timu Solani, he's 99 everything. And you can actually blame it at center. If you had heart and soul, he has almost max face-off rating. There's not much to say here. He is one of the better cards every year. And it's Timu Solani. That's awesome. In my opinion... After Chara, he's one of the more exciting ones in this bunch. The only downfall is that he's already got a really high master icon. Um, so that's kind of the downfall here. But the card art's great, even though they picked a brutal jersey. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, this is a really, really good master set item for the Shades of Summer event. Okay, and today's new 99 master icons from the Shades of Summer event. We've got the 99 Marcel Dion with four to spark, four to light the lamp, five foot nine, 99 everything. And again, this year they've made smaller players viable in this game, which is how it's played. Uh, again, the one thing when it comes to these cards is look at the value what you're getting when you go to the gold master icon. So this one specifically, he's going to have 99. He, he's basically already maxed out here. There's really no reason to do an upgrade from the 97 up to the 99. You're really not gaining all that much in total. You're gaining about th two speed. Um, just not enough, in my opinion. But the 99, if you packed him or something like that, if he goes for cheap enough, anything that's 99 across the board is viable. He's just 5'11". There's better options, but it might make him one of the more cheaper 99s. And then lastly, we've got the 99 Ray Borg, four to barrage, four to workhorse. And this is a 99 everything across the board defenseman. Is only five foot eleven, but I liked Ray Bork's card this year. Throughout the year, I thought it was one of the better ones in, in terms of the uh, master icons. But again, the test is going to be what does his gold card look like in comparison? So his speed is capped at 94, acceleration is 98, everything else is 99. So 94 speed compared to his 99 card that can get 99. That's enough of a jump, and the only reason I say that is because he's only five foot eleven. So you really want to have uh, that max speed if you're going to use a little defenseman that's smaller. Again, I've said this throughout the year. Even with 99 body checking, I know I love Kale McCarr. This is kind of like the same, almost the exact same build. Uh, just again, when you're thinking about defenseman, bigger is always better, uh, but he's still going to be a very, very good defenseman regardless. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's content on the channel. Don't forget to check me out live on Twitch every single day at noon Eastern time. Link is down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.